Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been demoing this great plugin. It's an image to text on hover or image hover plugin. It's called uh, Divi Image Hover Effects, and it's got 200 fantastic image to text on hover effects, and they really have got some great looking little hover boxes here and they also do an image swap on hover too which is one image from the other now Divi's come a long way I used to build these with CSS now you can actually build some of them with just the features that are built into Divi so we're gonna build a few of these today don't get me wrong this value this represents a great value for money 250 of these and they've got a deal on right now um, they're selling it for $15 instead of $50. I'll put the link below if anybody wants to try it out. It is an awesome plugin. But for anybody that doesn't want to add a plugin and wants to learn how to do this, we're going to do this today. So we've done a few of these, and today we're going to do an image swap, and we're going to do an image swap to zoom out on Hover. So there's, we're swapping the image, and the image is zooming out like that. really easy to do so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable our visual builder once enabled let's go down to where we want to work I'll go right here I'm going to go into the actual column itself green for a row dark for the actual module and if there's one up here there's it's blue for a section I haven't got one there that's okay but I'm actually going to go into the column which is in the row for the image that we want to see first is going to be a background for the row itself. So I'm going to go into row number two. You got, sorry, column number two. You got column one, two, three. If we go into the row here, let's go into column number two, the middle one. I'm going to put a background image, and this is going to be the image that we see first. So you've got color gradient image and video. I'm going to go for image. Now let's go for this one. So this is the image that we're going to see first. Now you can't see it there, and the reason is because this column has nothing in it, so it's got no height, so you can't see a background. But we know it's there, because there it is. <laughs> I don't want to do anything else to this just right this second. Now we're going to choose the image that we're going to swap to. So now if we click on the dark circle to add a module, DV comes by standard with most of these modules. The only one it doesn't come with is Divi Image Hover, which is that plugin that I was showing you just now. And you also get another 12 if you've got WooCommerce installed uh, so you can sell your products. So I'm looking for the image module again today. There it is right there. So as you can see, it's put in a placeholder. And let's choose what image we want to go to from this one. Let's go from this one, perhaps, to this one. And there it is on top. And you know we've got one behind. You can't actually see it yet. If I go to our design on this one and go down to filters, if I take the transparency down or the opacity, you'll be able to see the one that we've got behind there. That's the one that's on our column. All right, and what do we want this to do? We want it to fade. When it starts off, it's going to start off like this. When they put their mouse over it, we're going to get it to fade in. But we also want it to zoom from a large to a regular picture like that. So the opacity, the see-throughness, that's easy to do. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark engineering, these icons will appear. If there's an arrow, that means that there's an option for you to set, set a desktop state, which is basically when your mouse is not on top of something, and a hover state, which obviously is when your mouse is on top of it. So when we're not hovering over it, I don't want to see this at all. So I need to take it down to zero. When we are hovering over it, I want to see it fully so I need it to be 100% or fully visible that's easy now we want to make it bigger initially and then when we hover over it we want it to shrink to regular size 
So we can do that with our transform, which is just below our filters here on the design tab. With transform, the first one right here is transform scale, which is going to make it a lot bigger. And again, if we hover over the black legending, we can left click the little arrow and get a desktop hover state. Okay, desktop or normal state right now, it'll disappear when I click on this because we've got it set to the opacity none. So let's go back to hover state and we'll take the arrow off and set it how we want it scale wise and turn the hover back on and bring it down. Okay, so let's start dragging up. I've got that little link check there so it'll do both sides at once so it'll stay the same scale. And as you might notice, it's coming out of the column there, but we'll fix that in a minute. So we'll scale it up to about there. 178 let's round that down to 175 you can fine-tune it with your little arrows right and left there we'll have that for the hover state so if we turn this back on again hover states 175 desktop we're going to set the desktop to 100 100 and 175 let's save our changes before we do that the time it actually takes to shrink down from this size to normal size is going to be 300 milliseconds and the reason I know that is because that's the default in the Divi theme now I want to slow that down a bit so if we go to our advanced tab we'll go down to transitions and there's that 300 mils which is the default you can slide this up to whatever you want I want about a second or thereabouts thousand milliseconds you can delay it if you want you can use a speed curve for me I like ease in ease out play with these and use the one that works for you now I don't want to change anything else there but while we're here if you notice when I hover over this there's a number four well believe it or not four is the title of that picture now I don't want to see a number four every time somebody hovers over this so to get rid of that let's go into our attributes we're still on the advanced tab simply delete that title now the alt text really should be used for a description of the actual image itself whatever you want to call it but a lot of people do use it for SEO and putting keywords and geolocation data and stuff but use it how you will but the real use is should be for a description all right well that's gonna kind of work for us but not fully work so let's save it and we're gonna have to add one tiny little piece of code and if you watched a previous video you know what that code is and let's exit the visual builder All right, if we go down, there we go. Can you see the problem? It's scaling in nicely, but, well, A, it's doing it backwards. When I hover over it, it should be scaling back down from the large one. Plus, we don't want it spilling out of this box. So we just need to add a bit of line of code to stop it spilling out of the box. And let's reverse this because it's the wrong way around. So let's enable the Visual Builder. Firstly, let's fix that code because I've done it the wrong way around. Well, not the code, but the actual hover effect that's going on there. Let's go back in. Let's go down to our transform is the one that's not correct. Now, actually on hover on desktop, when we're not hovering it should be 175 and when we are hovering over it it should be 100 that's better okay so we fix that if you wanted to for fun you could add more filters when it when all this happens if we just slow it down again we'll go to transitions and I'll take it from 1 to 2 which is crazy long it'll just show you a few more of the effects now if we go back to our filters under design there as well as playing with opacity you could play with hue and make all kind of crazy colors so let's put this on hover when we're hovering over it I want it to be regular when we're not we're gonna have it crazy colors you can't see it 
just for the effect I'll take the opacity back up so you can see what's going on so let's just take that back up to 100 there you can see that hue now that I change from regular to crazy up here it makes it all kind of crazy color so we'll have that on desktop and it'll change from those colors to our regular cover colors on hover do the same with saturation contrast brightness etc and we could also perhaps have it a bit blurred at first on desktop let's have it a little bit blurred like I say you can mix and match these when we hover over it it wants to be completely clear crystal like that okay so we've added all our effects hopefully the scale effect should be the right way around now we've changed the time it takes to do it so let's see what we've got all right that's the way it should start out it's still spilling over because we haven't added the code but when I hover over it blur should go away and it should come into focus and of course we took the opacity away that's the way around so we got that right and you can see all the blur and the saturation changing as we do that great well let's finish it off let's add our piece of code to our column and we're done so quickly enable the visual builder again go down let's go into our little image here now I need to reset the opacity because we took that off just now all the transparency so on desktop it wants to be invisible on hover it wants to be completely visible fantastic great and now to stop it spilling out of our column here we need to go into the row into the column itself go into the row and it's column number two and I'll put this piece of code down below the video you can copy it. it's a simple piece of CSS custom CSS I'm going to put it in the main element I'm just going to say overflow colon hidden semicolon that's it like I say I'll put it down below copy and paste it use it if you wish we should now be good to go let's save this save our page changes and exit the visual builder okay let's go down and see what we've got here as you can see it's not spilling out anymore now when we hover over it it should fade in zoom in or zoom out fade in zoom out and change color and blur so let's see there we go that's happening over a two second period which may be a little too long but that's fine I'm sure you get the idea so that's how to add an image swap effect with zoom so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.